Hi everyone, so today I'll teach you how to make this origami rose. That's what it's called, an origami rose. It was like, um, I made a pink one because I like pink to show you, but I figured it'd be easier to show you how to do it if it wasn't the exact same color as my background, which is pink. That's why for the video I'll be using orange paper, but I made a pink one because I wanted a pink one. This is what it looks like. And it is, I don't say square, you say fold, you fold the corners under. So, let's get started. If you have, like, square origami paper, this first step you can skip. But if you're like me and you're just using plain colored paper that is a rectangle, you will need to do this step. And this will be the only step that you should need scissors for for origami. Because it's all folding. Zipper, for this beginning part, you need scissors. And also, usually you bend it over. The way to make it a square is you bend it over like this. And usually you fold it because you need that for one of the steps. But for this one, you don't need that. So if you can try to just hold it and only gently fold it and try to not actually fold this part. I did it on this one and didn't realize that until after I was done that it didn't look quite as nice. But if you, if you can try to just hold the paper in place where you cut off this extra flap, you can see that there's a line right here. There. It's right there. If you can try to just hold it folded and not actually fold it, it will make it look a little better in the end. So you just fold it like that so it's like that. And then this extra part, just chop it off with scissors. Now you have a square of paper. It's a little bend in it, but it's not as bad as my other one was, where I completely folded it in half. Again, if you have origami paper, just use it, and it should already be a square. But I'm just trying to help those of you who are trying to see the like origami, and they're not sure if they want to buy a pencil origami paper, if they're only going to do it once. So you can, you can use normal paper. You could use normal white paper. You don't have to have colored. I just do. That's what I'm using. First, you're going to need to fold the paper in half. Like this. But line it up. So like that. And now you... Unfold it and fold it the other way. Like that. And then you unfold it again. Now you see how you have this like X part in the middle? Like that. Now you gotta take all these corners and fold them into the middle. I know this is difficult for you to see, but it looks to be like that, and then you act and you fold it. And with having these lines pre-designed like this, it actually makes lining it up pretty easy. I'll put it down on the camera so you can see what I am doing. So, ooh, what is the lighting of my camera doing? Maybe it's better up here because the lighting is better. Okay. Fold it in to the middle like that. And then you do that. You fold it. And you do that for all four. And try to get it... Ooh, focus camera. Focus. As nicely lined up as you can because it will just make everything else turn out better. Oops, that one wasn't lined up quite right. not exactly perfect. It's not going to be like it's the biggest deal in the world. Nothing's going to like stop work. Like the world not going to end if your organ isn't perfect. Mine definitely never is, but I still like doing it. 
I gotta fold all of them in. I'm on number three of folding these corners in. One more. That kind of looks like an envelope. If you have to, you can unfold these back out again so you can see how to line this up better. If that helps, go ahead and do it. That's what helps me a little bit. So now you have them folded like this. So now you take all these corners again and fold them into the center again. But it's going to be, see how it's going to be folded this right here? This is going to be folded this. Yeah, you get the picture. Like that. And then you fold it. Like that. And then you fold in the next corner. So it looks like that. Now you gotta fold the last two corners in. The more paper you end up folding, means the more time you do this. You do, the second time you do this step is going to be harder than the first time. And then I fold in the last one. So the last one is always, or at least was in the other one and in this one, the hardest to fold in because there's more paper you have to line it up with and stuff. So it should look something like that, where it's folded like that. And now, you may have noticed a pattern. That the fact that we're going to do fold, fold in the first two times, we have to do it, I believe, a third time. Let me just look at my example over here. I got to look at it for a second. Fold it in. And I'm comparing sizes. Fold it in. Yeah, one more time, I think. Let me look at the comparisons. Do, do, do. I think so. One second, I got to make sure I'm doing this right. I was right. We folded it again. I was, I was looking at the example, trying to count the folds and stuff, and figure out how I now if it was actually right. We folded in again like this. It looks like that. Try to get this part lined up nicely, because then it, cause then it makes your end result. Look just a little bit nicer. And that looks like that. It's kind of like an arrow, sort of. And I fold in the next one. And fold in the last one. The last one's always the hardest. Because it's easiest to tell if it's not lined up. Now you have this thing. You're probably looking at this, wondering, how is that? gonna be that. This looks cool. This looks weird. I will show you. Now you're holding all these flaps and so you can see where they line up. Mine aren't perfectly even, but the world will not end from that. And now you take your flaps and you fold them back out so that the little tips just go over the edge of your square. Like that. This one's not perfect, but I still like it. So like that. And then you just work your way around all of them. Well, so the tips are just sticking a little bit over the edge. Like that. And then you gotta fold the four like that. If they're not perfect, it's not the biggest deal. That's what it should look like. And now... Because we did the other thing three times, we did this step three times. Now we take the next set of corners on the inside and fold them outward. So it's like that. And then you fold the next one outward. Like that. And then you do the next one outward like that too. that, and then the last one, for this round, looks like that, now, 
These ones were all folded pieces of paper, like many layers, a couple layers. But then this last one is just a single piece of paper you folded in way at the beginning. And you fold them outward just like the other ones. Like that. See that? That one right there. Yeah, I fold all those out. Just, you just pull them literally and fold them outward. Well, that one got uneven. What did I do there? Oh, that's better. You literally just take them and fold them outward. If you have any, like, thought of origami, you'll understand what I'm doing. At least you should. It looks like that. Now you'll notice. Sorry, I forgot to hold that. That and that are still different. This one's still bigger. Now the last step is to take these corners and fold them backwards a little bit. It's a little difficult. Try not to squish the rest of the parts of it, of your rows, while doing this. So it makes it a little difficult. So it looks like that. You take one of these points, it's hard to show you on camera, and you just fold it backwards. Like that. And then when you're done, you use the squishies back out again, but for now I have to squish them in a little bit because it's just hard. And then you cut the fold in and these kind of folded back in, so you just push these back out again. And just readjust it a little bit to how you like it. So it looks something like that. And you'll notice these aren't exactly the same. Oh, I'm holding it the wrong way. They're still not exactly the same. That's because they're not exactly the same because I didn't fold them exactly the same because reasons. I did the exact same steps on both. They're just different. So that is how you make an origami rose. Now there is a way to make a leaf that I think you could just tape on the back of this to have like a leaf to make it look fancier. If you want to learn how to do that, comment down below. And give this a thumbs up if you like my origami videos and want me to do more. At the end of this video, I will link my how to do an origami pigeon video that I also did like a while ago. And subscribe. Bye!